Hey travelers, Mag, I, and me mom. Good morning. Here on day 29 of our trip around the US. Unfortunately, today is me mom's last day co-hosting with us. We're gonna get her down to her ending point and she's gonna spend a little time with her family before she heads back home to Florida. Today was also a little weird in the planning process because originally it wasn't planned as a day where I was gonna have somebody with me. So I had to take two routes that were combined from two separate days combine them into what we're going to do today. So we're starting off our morning here in Ithaca on the shores of Cayuga Lake and we're going to make our way up around to Rochester and then start swinging back down all the way into Olean and Salamanca. Our route will finish up when we meet Salamanca. That's the point where we'll eject me mom and it'll be just Aichan and I back on the road. We're really going to miss her but I know that Aichan is going to be very appreciative of getting her seat in the car back. She's been fighting hard for it for the last 24 hours. We've got several good things up ahead in the plan today. We're just about to head to the highest waterfall in New York. We know this day's got a lot to offer, and we can't wait to show you what it's going to bring. See you out there with us. We started our morning off on the shores of Cayuga Lake. It was a quiet morning, and we had to park to ourselves. Well, mostly to ourselves. Once again, our avian friends had already made it to the park ahead of us. It's always nice to see a model of the chips. And these little guys look like they're having a good time this morning. After our visit there, it was a very short jump up the road to reach Gigantic Falls State Park. This park hosts the highest plunge waterfall on the east side of the Rocky Mountains. And there it is, what an amazing waterfall. And right here at the trailhead too, how convenient! Oh, what's that, me mom? This is just the appetizer? Oh! It looks like we may have farther than I thought to reach the falls. Fortunately, you can skip those stairs and stick to the flat trail that follows the course of the river. This is one of the best trails I've done while in New York. Somehow, it's mostly flat all the way there. You follow a very gradual incline on a very well-maintained trail. And you get to keep the river on your side the whole time. In many places, it's so wide and shallow that you can walk right out onto the river. As you fall along the valley through the gorge, it's impressive to think about the fact that this water has carved its way all the way down here. In some places, it's as much as 400 feet below the lip of the gorge above. And when you reach the end of the trail, it's easy to see this. The gorges tower above you impressively. And birds of prey like hawks and falcons fly along the top of the rim. The sound of crashing water increases as you reach the bridge. Oh, I can't wait to see what awaits us on the other side. There it is, the Gonic Falls, a 215 foot plunge waterfall. If there was one place I'd put on my must-see list in New York, I'd have to say it's this one. What a treat. And if you walk out just a little bit farther, you can get practically right underneath the falls. You wouldn't want to go past the overlook though. Large falling rocks are not an uncommon sight in this area, especially near the falls. Our next stop after the falls was the American Civil War Museum in Waterloo. I found the style of this memorial particularly interesting. The memorial shows the division between North and South during the war, with a center point representing all the lives lost on both sides of this tunnel. Then it's off to Geneva to visit the geographic center point of Seneca Lake. It's only a very short walk out over the water. And then you're out on the lake, just like that. We enjoyed the view while we were here. But those clouds overhead promised rain coming soon. So we cut our visit short in favor of staying dry. And got on the road toward our next stop. We were very grateful that the weather dried up just in time, for the most part, for us to visit the Livingston County Veterans Monument. This truly is a monument made for veterans, by veterans. 
all branches of service are represented in equal measure here, in a fashion unlike any other monument we have seen yet. This American flag is filled with more than 250 poppies. Each poppy on this red and white striped field is hand welded, which gives each flower its own unique feel. And the large majority are embedded with dog tags for veterans that that poppy was dedicated to. What a unique idea to honor our veterans. Our last stop of the day was Angelica, which was also an honor to our veterans. Somehow we had the entire place to ourselves. We didn't see another soul the whole time we were here. Odds are good that the pouring rain had something to do with that though. And just like that, another day comes to an end. Well, travelers, that's a wrap for today. Me, Mom, and I have had a pretty good time on the road. We were able to finish the last of our miles for the day. We covered between Ithaca and Salamanca, and we're completely done with all the counties and pages in the state now. We arrived at Me, Mom's final destination, and she's going to get off this crazy roller coaster ride, and then I'm going to continue on. I've got one more day in New York tomorrow, and then from there it's on to Pennsylvania. So, Me, Mom, you've had a week in New York now. What would you say was the thing that stands out most about the state for you? There's so many things. First of all, I had no idea that there were so many lakes or mosquitoes. I was surprised at all the green stuff, but the biggest excitement I've had is seeing my sister. So what do you guys have planned for the next few days now that you're off the road and able to relax for a bit? For me, a shower, number one, a bed, and we're going to do some more hiking. Well, we haven't had many showers or many beds the last few days, but we've had plenty of hiking, so I have no <laughs> idea why she still has any kind of appetite for that. Thank you all for joining us. Looking forward to continue sending you adventures as we're out there on the road. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, and stay tuned for more daily updates. See you out there on the trails with us.